Got He's going to get clipped today, I think. Fuzzy, fuzzy. But he also cut his face open. Again! Again! You did! It's gross and pussy! They're going to squeal. Watch out, she might strike out, so just... Squeal! Nope. Oh, there we go! <laughs> it always Halloween. startles me! Eat carrots, even though I hated you when you made me work. Right. So anyways, his gross cut's there. It needs to get clean, because it's nasty. Hi, Finesse. And yeah, good job, kid. Good job. Obviously, he hasn't been body clipped in like a year. These are what we're going to use. They're my barn owners, but she lets me borrow them if I sharpen them. And we'll see how it goes, because he's probably not going to like it very much. Right? So we're doing this without sedation, which might be fun. That's the patch of clips so far. Um, I'm just going to draw a saddle patch. And to do that, I put on a half pad and then I trace the outline of the half pad. Hi, Bubba. So yeah, we'll move it forward. So that's what we have. It's going to be bigger than what I need because I set it further forward than I need to. But since the clippers are large, and I'm probably going to have to swap to smaller ones anyways, actually. But anyways, it's not going to be that big when I actually clip his hair. But that's how I get the vague outline. And, like, I'm not a professional clipper. This isn't going to look, like, amazing or anything. But that's what I do. best to wear a lab coat or something so you don't get covered in horse hair but I wasn't exactly planning on clipping today I just decided to do it and you'll probably notice that I don't have Milo tied up and I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of people that are like oh my god why aren't you tying him up that's so dangerous but he gets nervous when clipping and if he pulls back he'll panic more than he would if I don't have him tied so I just leave him untied so that I can control the amount of tension on him so for whatever reason, the chest is what bothers him the most, but luckily that's like the least hairy part of his body right now. So we have his neck done on both sides pretty much. There's some lines, but I don't really care because he's not going anywhere anytime soon and they're not that bad. So yeah, we have his neck almost completely done. I am planning on clipping his face at some point, but I think he might need Trank for that, but we'll see. Hi. He's being pretty good though, because he's barely been clipped. some because it was gonna die and he was getting really pissed off <laughs> and so he has lots of lines because he keeps flinching he's very ticklish um we're not done yet obviously because yeah he <laughs> he's very patchy i've been doing areas that he hates and then doing areas that he doesn't mind as much because he's getting itchy and frustrated but we're almost there and we're doing this without any trank so yeah a lot of carrots.
2,000 years later. He's so naked. Oh, so that's not a nice tan. Yeah. So we're all done and a little word of advice is either bring a change of clothes or wear a lab coat when you're clipping because I feel disgusted. The walk around. There's some clipper marks because he kept flinching, but it actually doesn't look terrible. Milo. I'm just getting his itches, sorry. But he's leaning into me now. Ta-da! Can you move out of the way so that he can... He's naked. Milo, you're so naked. He's super... I clip with Oster okay, clippers, again, body clippers, right. and baby clippers because Milo started freaking out and being pissy, so we had to use the little ones. Awful for not having any trank at all, but like, no. he was such a, he was really pissy. He's just highly sensitive. He doesn't like his belly getting clipped, or his, flanks. or his bum, or his flanks, or his armpits. He gets ticklish, but he's naked now. Look at Beanerson. I could ride him way better than you. <laughs> well, you're gonna get off. <laughs> That's such a joke. So let's see. <laughs> I can only say it just because it's so. Drop I I only I can say it because Lisa always tells me the same thing, and I know that I do it too, right? And there's a wasp that wants to kill me right now. Oh my god! It's right by my hand. Why are they doing this to me? They're all going crazy because they're dying. But it was like right by my fingers as I'm filming. Oh, good boy. Good girl and boy. Go, Milo, go. Forward. That's the way. He's like, must I? Must I work? Good beaners. Tell him he's amazing because his little tongue is licking. He's being relaxed. Good man. Good little man. That's the way. Have you, you haven't really seen him go in this bit yet, have No, you? Uh, once before and I really liked it because it doesn't move around a lot on the side for him. It's nice and stable and quiet, right? Yeah, I think the other one was too big. He's a delicate little face and the rings on this egg butt are smaller. It's just, it fits his face better. So it's nice and it's very, it's a very stable and steady. Bit too. Yeah. Good. And when he does that, you just make sure don't drop your hands down because he's already doing the relaxing. You don't want him to go into the forehand. Me. Ah. Ah. Why is he so impossibly cute? I wonder what Lisa, excuse me, you think you know everything? And she'd never say that because she's just the nicest person in the world. I would never say that. I know. Because she does know everything. She does know a ton. She knows a ton. She knows a ton, but she is super, super humble. She is. Like, so understated and, oh, good boy. Tell me he's good. Good boy. Yeah. There you go, and you don't drop your hands because he doesn't need to flatten out. He just needs to do that. Here we go. He says, I a good listener. Oh, pretty boy. Okay, so you're going to do that. Shoulders back, steady, steady, push with your seat there. And tell him he's good because he took it nicely that yeah, time. That's okay. Because you can get him into the habit of it not maybe not having to exaggerate it as much, right? Yeah. That one deep spot he doesn't like as much, eh? Yeah. He loses his footing just a teensy bit sometimes. Watch your inside hand and shoulder. There we go. That's pretty good form for someone with a hunchback. Okay. Yeah. He just needs to try not to be so sloppy. Kind of goes wiggle, 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 wiggle. You know what, Mom? He's 
He's hey, I know it. I'm pretty proud of him. And you. Yeah, a little a little squeeze 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 where he tends to sort of slack off a bit, hey? And lift your hands up a bit again. Yeah, there you go. Good beaners and quiet. Good baby. They've been running so much. I, I know. Why are they having so much fun out there? Oh my gosh, look at them. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Old man and young man running around like crazy beasts. It was like clippity clop. And Humphrey's out there behaving like a, like a toddler, like he's not an older guy. He doesn't behave like a senior at all. Oh, here they come. More. They're coming around in circles. Here we go. I got to film this. <laughs> Hi, boys. They chase each other. Hi, boys. Oops, there they go. See a, a youngster and an old man having fun together. I know, right? Makes me make makes my heart happy because now Humphrey has a buddy again now that Chance sort of had to be put down, right? Yeah. Lost his old old friend. Straighten out your wrist on your inside hand. Push. Push. Straighten out that wrist. Push it, good. <laughs> oh, I like it better. I was gonna go with salt and pepper. Push it real good. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, the clouds in the sun are really pretty right now. Oh, that's so pretty. Good bee. Yep. I think if he goes around like this for Lisa, like he's always worse in our lessons for some reason. You should just praise the poop out of him all the time whenever he does these things. Good. Look ahead. Not down at him. Good boy. And don't look down. which is what I do all the time, but oh well. Good boy. It does seem kind of a bit mean to me that we expect our horses to poo while they are trotting and cantering and doing their thing. Yeah, but normally, like only if they have to. In alternate reality, I predict that horses would make us do that. They'd be like, keep going, human. Poo now, poo, and run at the same time. They'd put us in these little like marathons and they'd make us keep going. Has Archie decided that that's enough stall time? Because I hear him going bang, bang. Good boy, Bean. Clouds are very pretty. By the rainbow, so I can film it. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, to the rainbow. Just gonna let him jog it out for a little. Time. Okay. Rainbow. I love him. What was your idea about the dinner thing again? You just said something fun and casual, but did you come up with a plan, an idea? No. Good oh, good man, right by the rainbow. <laughs> okay, now here's where it's gonna be. When he's doing counter canter around the corners, it's even more important that you actually keep yourself in a position that helps him better. So, oh, so smart. That's good for this direction. That was actually really nice. Now lift up your hand, lift up your inside shoulder. There you go. You have to watch on your corners. You almost need to put a little bit of weight in that outside stirrup and keep your shoulders even. Aww. Good boy. 
He's not as wiggly in this bit, you know? Yeah. Like when you were complaining about consistency and stuff like that. He's not as wiggly. Like he's just, I think it's, he likes, it's just a quiet, nice, I don't know, something. There's the rainbow still. Can you see it when you ride around? Yeah. It's pretty, right? It's not sure. <gasps> Okay, hug him. He's okay now. Shoulders and lean into your outside stirrup a bit on the corners. Yes, again, you got to balance him. Don't let your hands drop. It doesn't help him around the corners. So smart today. I know. He says, uh, "I know what you're asking for." He didn't mess up at no. all today. Okay, pick up your inside rein. Lean into your outside stirrup. Shoulders straight, 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 straight. There you go. You need to help give him balance. Good boy. I think the rainbow might be getting brighter. I think I'm going to mention the rainbow about 50 times just because I'm so excited yeah, about... I think you've never seen a rainbow. I love beautiful things. They make me... Milo! Milo! There you Good go. Boy. Now just try to sit there and not bother him now that he's going like that. But then... It, okay, remind him. Good boy. Remind him. Good. And lift your hands. And you want to push him forward and half halt at the same time. Remind him. Outside rein against his neck. Push him forward. But like ask for lengthening of stride instead of speed. Lots of leg, inside rein, outside on his neck. He was so good today. Yeah. And not as sweaty because he has a nice clip. Yay! So yeah, this is a new cooler from Greenhawk. It's their Shedro brand. I'll link it down in the bio so you can buy one if you want. But it's just like, it's pretty thin, but it's a nice fabric so it'll keep him warmer. And it's just a little extra something because it's not quite cool enough for like a winter underneath yet, but he does need like a little something to keep him warmer now that he's naked. Yes, so he's gonna wear this. And then he gets his rain sheet over top because it's raining all the time here. And then I'm gonna put the hood on too to keep his neck warm. So now he's got his hood on and he's all bundled up. And that's how you keep your clipped horse warm. So I'm gonna put Milo back and then give him dinner and then I'm gonna help my mom with Archie and yeah so for those of you who do not know why people clip basically the purpose of it is just so that he has less hair in the winter when he's in work because otherwise they get super sweaty and they don't dry off very quickly and then they can catch a chill and it's just not as nice for them so it's better to clip and then keep them bundled up and yeah then they dry much faster and they get less sweaty and they won't overheat so it's good and i chose to clip him pretty early this year because then he'll get a little bit more of a coat for when it gets pretty cold and yeah so he's all done and clipped for the season i'm not going to clip him again unless he grows like a ton and ton of hair but i hate clipping so i'm probably not going to do it again then he's getting dinner so he just gets to eat and then we're gonna feed Archibald after he's done riding. And yeah, so he's all bundled up in his cute blankie with the hood. It's just a thin rain sheet with the um, cooler underneath and then a thin hood. He has a winter style of this same blanket, but I'm not gonna put it on him until it gets quite a bit colder. So yeah, that's clipping for today. It took not as long as it did last year. It actually wasn't too bad. I think it took me about an hour and a half to clip him and he was being kind of a brat so it took longer than it would have with like a well-behaved horse that just stands for it but um he didn't have any trank or anything and he really doesn't like the clippers and he's also super skin sensitive and ticklish so all of that together he did pretty well for him because he could have been way way worse and I'm glad he wasn't but yeah so now he's all clipped I don't have to worry about it for another year which is nice um, body clipping sucks. I don't mind clipping legs and faces and stuff, but body clipping sucks. 
So she's just giving Archie a light lunch because he hasn't really done much lately at all this week. So just in case. And yeah, his nickname's Cheesy now because one of the really little girls, like one of the boarders' daughters, she's really young, nicknamed him Cheesy and she loves him. It'll probably take him a full circle to get it anyways. Come on, Arch! See, that's what I mean. <laughs> He does that every time, and then after that, he's like, okay. See? And then he's just fine. He just needs to do that one little launch. And Cheesy's getting a long tail from his bio main. And he's filling out, and he's actually getting a real winter coat. Yay, Cheesy! And it's four long. Good baby. One day he won't be as much as a, a giraffe, too. But yeah, he's lunging a lot better too, hey? His ground manners used to be atrocious. I mean, they're still not great, but when I lunged him before, like he didn't like to listen. Yeah, because I won't ride him for very long either. Okay, come on, ask more from him. There you go. He's paying attention to the cows, so get him bending to the inside. They're running. Oh. And there's a dog chasing them. Fair. That's why he's distracted. Good boy. Good boy. He looks cute without a nose bend. I think so too. Little racehorse. Yeah, I know. I Slow know. your posting. Circle him in a smaller circle around me. And then get him turned to the inside, even going down this rail, just so he can't look at the cows. Good boy. Easy. Easy. Slow your posting. Go Cheesy, go! He's starting to move out better. Can you feel it? Yes. Much better. Okay, so you can shorten up your contact and then just start asking him for a bend. It'll help him relax down. Boy. And stop oh, opening your hands. Close your hands. Huh? Close your hands. <laughs> what are you opening them for? He's given you nothing. This me? Yeah. Yeah, but you don't need to open your pinky fingers. No, I don't have to do that. But <laughs> Opening fine. rain is wide hands, not open I hands. Know. Yeah, but you're doing like <laughs> open hands. I was just letting go of the rain too. No. Yeah, but he's given you nothing, so don't give to him yet. Okay, get him to relax down. Big rain, get him bending. Inside leg. Help balance him with the outside rain. Oh no. Stop watching them. I'm like Archie, I got distracted. Look at how much hair is on the bottom of my boots. Archie and Milo wear the same rain sheet, but Archie's not getting anything underneath his because he isn't clipped yet. And I don't know if I'm gonna clip him. If I do, it'll just be a trace clip. Milo got to have a ton of the carrots because he needed treats to calm himself while clipping. So Archie only gets one. I'm so sorry, Archibald. I'm so sorry. Is that hard to eat? With your tiny teeth? Okay, finish your grain. He gets a lot of forage. That's like mostly alfalfa cubes and um, beet pulp in there, or fiber max. Archie, it's right there. Good boy. Air Shabu. Cheesy. His name is Cheesy. I gave him one. Cheesy's still eating. A good cheese ball.